How's it going everyone? Welcome back to The Grind. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're having a good Wednesday. And of course, welcome back to the T28. We have got 106k in the research bank. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to use any free XP. I am probably already said that a few episodes ago. But yeah, we're not going to waste any free XP on it because I want to save all the free XP for the gun if I can. Um, or at least to get the track straight away, let's say. Because th this gun's more than good enough to actually grind up to that. So we just get the tracks first and then we don't have to worry about that. But uh, yeah, let's go and put some boosters on. Let's go and put some premium time on. Let's get straight into some games. Okie dokie. We get Erlenberg. Decent. Tier 9s. Mm, it's okay. We can manage. Um, we're going to go to the middle of the map and just see what we can do. Uh, hopefully we can get there in time to actually hopefully get a good spot. Um, that's the main problem with this tank, to be honest, is not getting there in time uh, to be able to get a good spot. Um, someone did want to know about what I think about when I'm looking at the minimap and stuff. Most of the time, it is just simply observing of where my team's going. For example, I know for a fact that there's going to be people here, there's going to be people here, there's probably going to be someone that's going to be sniping across here, and there's probably going to be someone in this little corner bit here. More than likely, the heavies are just going to get stuck here. I've seen a lot of people recently go over back here, uh, behind the wall, um, and actually fight along there. So, usually it's just observing stuff. It's also observing if there's any light tanks over here, and uh, just genuinely looking or generally looking uh, of where the enemy team is and where my team is. Just a simple observation. I'm not trying to do anything like five head, you know, like some kind of mental mathematics that's going on in my brain. Um, usually it is just observing of where my team's going. But let's have a little look. You kill this lava. Gotta go forwards now. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, man, I'm trying. We will repair our gun. And we'll go past this guy. Hopefully. Now, the Skoda is... Right there. Kill him. I'm not even really too worried about the Skoda, to be honest. That's... I hit his gun. So... Rip. Unlucky, I guess. Okay, thank you so much to my Chrysler K driver. Like, he's so good at this game. Uh, unfortunately, we're getting blocked by this Chrysler K. Uh, this is what I hate about World of Tanks at the moment, is when you get turbo games, you're fighting against your own team. It just shouldn't be how it is, but there you go. Can't do anything about it. He might peek up in a second, put one in, nice. Continue, we can shoot the RT in a second as well. Uh, actually, we can still shoot this guy. Kill him. Hmm. No shot there. And that's the game over. Wow. Wow. That is the whole game over. Okay. Nice game. The last remaining RT is going to be over here. There's nothing you can do in this game. At least it's a win, so we can apply it, I guess. Um, yeah. What a... 3 minutes 48 seconds. Yeah. Um, yeah, that didn't go so well, did it? I mean, sure, we got a win, but... Okay, so we get steps. <sighs> Let's hope that this isn't another 3 minute game, because that would be very, very depressing. Do, 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 do. Where are we going to go? Have a look at my team. They're all going to the left. A few people are going to the right. Um, 
obviously I know if I'm looking at the map, I say left, I say right and left, because I'm thinking about where I'm situated in the actual like game. It's weird, I know, but uh, we got a Liberté that decided that he wants to be a tank destroyer. Very nice. Uh, yep. GW, that's AFK. You know, that's that's always a good. Oh no no no, he's he's awoken. It's good. Nice. Uh, yeah, we should still be okay. Liberté might actually take a few shots for this. Although there's only one light tank on each team, so it's not really too much of an issue. Okay, we've made it to the corner. Nice. You know what I should have done? I should have, uh... I'm sorry. Okay. Right, well that's very fun. It's got a pretty peak now. I should have just gone up to there. The worst thing about not having a turret... You have to get, like, so much of your tank in the way to be able to get a shot around the corner. You end up blocking your own team. And sometimes you just look like you're completely arrogant and rude. Unlucky. This 53 TP, I don't know where he is. I don't know. I mean, this Liberté, I, I'm honestly, like, he doesn't have a clue of what he's doing. Like, seriously. I... Oh, man. T20. T20 shooting HG. Okay. I might be able to, I might be safe behind here. I don't know. Like, honestly. Trying to stay arty safe, but like it's just not even gonna happen. That's not my spotting. I mean if I stay behind here, then I should be okay. Crusader, go away. One into him. You're far in HG. Well, I'm not safe from the RT, so I might as well just go forwards. Right, I'm going to die to artillery in a second anyway, so what's the point? Rip. Now I died to RT. Uh, what? Okay. Try and go up here, then I can maybe be safe. I don't. Like, it's so dumb. Like, you just try and play the game, and you just get hit by RT constantly. Doesn't matter where you go. Where did they even pen me? I want to know where the first few shots pen me. One went there. I think that's the RT. I can't see any in the, any in the lower plate. 
We'll check battle hits after. I'm not spotted. So I guess he's not in one of these bushes and he's probably run away. I mean, he has like a 40 second reload, so... He should be running away. There's no reason for the G sword to just stay there. We'll just stop moving for a second and just see. We might be able to shoot this AMX in a second. Maybe. We won't be able to shoot the Borsig because he'll be behind a rock. Okay, maybe the AMX isn't there. Okay, Borsig. Interesting play. Is the AMX there? No. The Type 62 would have proxied him by then. Which means the AMX is maybe behind here, or he went behind here, or he's run all the way back. We're one shot to the RT, and... One shot to the AMX. One shot to the SU-122, even with HE. But the AMX and the 122 can just HE us to death. IS probably can, but he looks like he's going to die soon. So I'm not too worried about him. Also, this is completely losable still. Because they all they have to do is just camp up in the hills. Like, it is so stupid, this map design. We get spotted for that. We don't get spotted for that. Or apparently, the um. Ooh. Wasn't worth firing. Apparently, that T forty four, uh, was very blind. Was it a T forty four? Yeah, it was. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if both the G-Saw now and the Kampfpans are at the back in that little corner bit. One of them will peek out to try and spot. Um, and when they do, we can then shoot them. G-Saw's gold rounds will go straight through me as well. Interesting that he didn't get spotted. Oh, they're, not, they're just going to die now. I'll stay here. Maybe one of them will peek out that way. I don't know. This is not a very good map for this tank. The G-Saw's at the other rock, so even if I wanted to... Yeah, he's, he's going to die before he can even get up to me. Oh, well. <sighs> Again, not a very good game. Honestly, I won at least like 2,000 damage. But, oh, well. At least we can apply it. We get 6,000 for that. Uh, how close are we to getting the 25k? Like, extra. Is it this? No, that's the 2001. Oh, we can't get any more of them, can we? I forgot. That's annoying. Oh, well. Okay, so let's go and play our final game. And uh, hopefully we can get, like, 3k damage or something. Siegfried line, tier 7s. Obviously, there are tier uh, nines in the game as well, but it's workable. A little bit worried about the Emil too. However, I'd much rather go against an Emil two than I would a Phase One because of three forty heat. Like three forty heat really does just tear this tank apart. 
And it tears most tanks apart, but... Hmm, hopefully we can get something out of this game. I'm tempted to not go hold down with the 110 and actually go behind here. I think that might be the play to do. We need to be careful though of our right hand side where that camp has just popped up. Because obviously, uh, yeah. Oh my god. Did you know that rocks are very, very slippery? Okay, nice one. Uh, the Emil 2 can just pen me. <laughs> Yeah, okay. You know, it's so fun playing against higher tiers. Like, it's completely the right thing to do. Like, what's he meant to do? Just fire standard rounds and not pen? But, like, it's just so dumb. How this tank has no armor against... Like other other tanks that would as soon as you go one tier higher. I mean he shouldn't be able to pen me. It's an M twelve, he can easily splash me for a hundred and fifty. So we need to watch out for that. Oh god. We didn't track him unfortunately. Yeah, whatever. Uh This game would have been so good if there was no tier 9s. Like, it would have been so good. But you just can't play with tier 9s in this tank. Tier 9s have too much pen for this. It's like, and you can't really change anything about it. Because if you changed... Like, let's say, for example, you changed it so that you met, you buffed the T28 so that the standard rounds can no longer pen. You're still going to get absolutely screwed by the premium rounds anyway. And you can't change it so that it's, you know, n not even going to get plus one. Like, plus one minus one is going to be the best. It's just the way that this tank is, and the way that this line is, it just gets screwed by the matchmaker, because you can't... You can't... If you buffed it to a stage where it would be hard for premium rounds to pen this thing, it would be OP. And it would just be stupid. Like if, I mean, even if you made it so that this was like 310 millimeters thick. I mean, actually, you know what? That wouldn't be that bad. If you made it just so the Capolas were the weak spot. And like, they actually were weak spots. And you made this like 320. Like this, and then still kept the lower plate. It wouldn't be that bad. At the moment, it's just... You just see it, and it's 1.5k hit points for someone to just go and farm. And like, it's not because of gold spam or anything like that, it's just simply higher tier. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if he's trying to mark his Emil. A 49% win rate player, he played very, very well. Like, he knew when to push in and stuff. He doesn't have good stats. I don't, know, I don't blame him for firing gold, I spam gold in the crown all the time. Um, and in the mill. So it's whatever. Um, it's not the gold runs that I have a problem with. It, it's just weird that... I don't know. He's top tier, so there you go. Anyway, uh, we'll play one more game because that was very, very short. You have to let me know. Do you think that this tank would be completely broken if they made this, like this, the superstructure? Like 320 millimeters thick, effective, I'm talking about. So that, yes, 
poor 340 heat and 330 heat would still go through it. But like normal kind of premium rounds and stuff like that would just bounce off. But they kept the cupolas the exactly the same and the lower plate exactly the same. Would it be completely broken? I don't think it would. Honestly. And it would solve that situation where you don't feel so useless when you come up against tanks like the Emil. Because they actually have to aim for the Capolas and stuff. And not just, you know, go straight through you. And to be fair, to be completely fair to him, he, he did aim for the Capolas and did pen me in the Capolas every single time, so. Right, looking at the map. Our team's going this side. We've got enough people there. No one's going this side. We've got an AFK Patriot. We've got a few people in the middle. That's safe. This is safe. This is not safe. Probably going to be pushed through here. And we're probably going to have to retreat at some stage. So, yeah. That's how I think the game's going to go. Either way, I hope that enough people are going to come this side. Because otherwise, I'm going to be driving for the next three minutes and get zero damage. Okay, well, we do need to watch out for artillery. Fast approaching the combat zone, let's say. Do I want to go and just play with this IS-3? I think I do. I think you look very juicy, Mr. IS-3, not gonna lie. Unlucky, actually. Again, a little bit unlucky there. He bounces, that's fine. Very nice. Put one into him. Keep going forwards. We need to keep moving. It's gonna be a turbo game, for goodness sake. Man, I just want a normal game. Like, why is that so hard to get nowadays? Well, we've lost this side of the map, which is exactly what I said. We've won this side, and already most of the enemies are dead, so I'm going to get nothing out of this game. Like, for goodness sake, what am I actually meant to do? Like, how am I meant to play this game when the games are this fast? There's literally nothing for me to do in this game. All of these are going to get to the TS5 before me. So I can't do anything in that respect. There's no point me trying to go for the 110. Because I want all the damage that's up here. If I spend time wasting aiming at the 110. When I could go and fight this TS5. I'm going to fire premium for the TS5, obviously. I have to keep pushing. Type 59 is going to be annoying. And this guy push forwards and spot this Type 59? Like, is that not obvious? Really, Ice Room? You're actually firing HE at him. It's an AMX 65. Like. It's just embarrassing, to be quite honest with you. Hundred and fifteen. 
Oh, we, how do we get nothing out of this game again? Like, honestly, Wargaming needs to fix this. It shouldn't be like this. I don't understand how it can be so one-sided all the time. I really don't get it. There's no overpowered tanks in this game. None. But the Chrysler is like the nearest thing to overpowered and he's dead. Like sure, Baraska is annoying but it's not, you know, completely broken. The gun is useless on that tank. I can't fight that guy. Man, the matchmaker's just so against slow tanks now. Ah, oh, I don't get it. It's just so boring to play like this. Well, there we go. Yep. Another super fast game. I mean, sure, it lasted seven and a half minutes. That's only because we had to run around and find a Barask. And all the others were on the other side of the map. Uh, apart from that, the game was pretty much over within the first three minutes. Again, like, I, Wargaming needs to do something about this. It's it's honestly unplayable for these types of tanks and slower tanks. You just can't do anything in it. You really can't. Um, I just don't know. It's not even like... The tanks are not unbalanced. It's not the matchmaker's fault for once. Like, look at it. Like, it there's no super imbalances there. So, I, I honestly don't know. They need to fix it, but I have no idea. Uh, 1.2k is pathetic in this thing. Um, honestly, it's completely useless. But we get focused by RT on steps. And then the other three games are too fast for us to do anything. So, yeah. Really fun to play this tank when you get a turbo game. Anyway, hopefully you did enjoy. Uh, I'll see you on Friday for the next episode of The Grind. Um, I'm kind of annoyed, actually, quite a lot. Uh, because, yeah, this should have been a really nice session. And it's just ruined by Turbo Games and RT. Nice. <sighs> yeah. I don't know, I'm annoyed. I'm not going to lie. It's really annoyed me. But yeah, if you did enjoy, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It will help me out greatly. And uh, check out all the links in the description. They're all in there or in the pinned comment. I'll see you all in the next episode of The Grind.